ara idara na wakala za serikali kutumia bajeti walizotengewa inavyostahili ili kuepuka kuomba fedha za ziada wakati wa kutekeleza miradi mbalimbali akiwasilisha ripoti ya bajeti ya mwaka wa kifedha mwaka 2023 mwaka 2024 mbele ya kamati ya taifa ya bajeti na matumizi inayoongozwa na mbunge wa Kiaru Ndindi Nyoro mdhibiti wa bajeti amehusisha ukopaji wa kiholela na kutokuwa na mipangilio mizuri ndani ya taasisi hizo pamoja na matumizi mabaya ya fedha hizo mwenyekiti wa kamati ya fedha ya bajeti na matumizi Ndindi Nyoro amesikitikia deni la taifa ambalo linafikia trilioni 10.25 na kumtaka mdhibiti wa bajeti kuzingatia kiwango cha ubadilishaji wa fedha katika ripoti zake kwa kuwa kimekuwa kikipanda na huenda kikaongezeka idadi huenda kikaongezeka idadi ya mkopo wa trilioni 5.416 zilizokopwa kutoka kwa wakopeshaji wa nje ya taifa As of 30th June the public debt stock stood at 10.25 trillion This comprised of 5.416 due to external lenders that is 52.9% and 4.832 trillion due to domestic lenders that is a proportion of 47.1 So for last financial year the payments amounted to 1.153 billion and uh, this was 10.65% uh, increase from the previous year when we had paid 1.042 billion and the only comment there is how can we ensure that borrowed funds are used for financing development expenditure only and not recurrent We know that section 15 2C of the PFM requires that borrowed funds be put to development expenditure so that uh, the economy can grow. Further, we did note that there were payments of commitment fees on undisbursed loans which clearly could have been avoided and we paid quite a lot Then there is reliance on article 223 which we just saw the figures and in that year my office authorized the release of 82.27 billion as additional funding under article 223 of the constitution This amount translated to 2.7% of the total MDA approved budget of 3.62 trillion.